we're going to do now is uh, talk about a time-lapse video that was made uh, regarding the shuttle's trip from LAX to its new home at the California Science Center. And it was done by photographer Matt Javot that I had an opportunity to speak with on uh, Friday morning. I saw a news uh, release, not a news release, but his actual news story mm -hmm. uh, online uh, on Friday morning as I was having my coffee. And I thought, hey, this is incredibly cool. great mm -hmm. video. Uh, this would really just, he'd make a great guest to talk about uh, how he had to go about doing that. So I gave him a call and he was like, yeah, I'd love to do it. Uh, Matt is in New York right now though and we're having some difficulty getting in touch with him. So uh, instead, I'll just let you know that he said, he got approval from the city of Los Angeles mm -hmm. uh, to do this. And he had to set up, he, it was him and a team of photographers that uh, put this video together. Because it's from so many different vantage points. I was wondering yeah. how he was able to pull that off. Right. Well, he had to get clearance. And he said mm -hmm. that the police department worked with him uh, really well. So he had some unprecedented uh, access mm -hmm. at, at one one stretch of the video, you see the shuttle literally go over the top of his camera. That is so, that's such a cool shot. In order to do that, you have to have a full security clearance, yes. you know, because <laughs> uh, that, that could be a recipe for disaster if they just let anybody do that. Uh, one of my favorite locations where he was shooting, and it was right before the shuttle went over the 405 freeway, mm -hmm. which took some preparation with that Toyota truck that we talked about. Uh, right there is a Los Angeles landmark Known as Randy's Donuts, it's and a very cool shot. Yes, and it's a it's everyone's seen that sign. I think at one point mm -hmm. it's iconic. You have yes. the big Randy's Donut uh, that spins. I don't know if it spins, but it's on top of the donut place. Yeah, you can't miss it. And I've always known about it because uh, my name is Randy. You know, <laughs> Randall Randy. <laughs> yes. You know, and uh, so I've always wanted a picture of that in my house. You know, but I now I'm thinking I want a picture of it with the with shuttle the shuttle passing by passing by. So and some what cool was shots. really cool in this a time lapse is some of the adjustments they had to make right at the moment that the shuttle got there. They showed them really quickly trim a tree or holding up the power line so that it could pass under. Some exactly. Some really, really cool shots. Some fantastic shots. And uh, it passes a number of landmarks. The LA Forum mm -hmm. uh, is there as well. And uh, the I, so Matt said that... Um, it was a incredibly warm weather, which was yes, nice. Yes. Uh, so people were braving uh, what seventy two degrees. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> Matt said that large crowds would form at the point where he was about to shoot, and then the police would come over and say, "You know what? We've got a delay. It's going to be like another hour or so." And uh, he was like, "Oh, good. The crowd will leave, and, and then he can get a better shot. And then I can get a better shot." He said, no, the, they would sit there as long as it took. They were not going to miss the uh, shuttle moving along. And uh, so we actually have uh, Matt on the line now from New York. Uh, he's uh, given us a ring, and he could tell us in his own words what it was like to uh, shoot this amazing video. Matt Javo joining us. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. How are you? Fantastic. We have just enjoyed this video for the last several days, and now any uh, people watching our video simulcast are able to uh, see it as well. Boy, what an undertaking, and what sort of media reaction have you had over the last several days? You know what? It's been, it's been incredible, because the whole thing was, as I was there, obviously, I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to time-lapse a space shuttle going to L.A., but quickly I realized that it was more just about the people. Yeah. Um, and, and it was so exciting to, to try to capture that essence and then to see people commenting today on in, in the last few days on how they got that in the video. They, they felt that connection and, and that that sense of pride that I wanted to capture. So it's been really exciting. I mean, I got people telling me they're shedding tears over it. And it's like as a filmmaker, that's that's ultimate payoff. That's oh, such a joy. Right. To hear that kind of reaction, to know that you've connected with people. But really, you documented a historical moment for not only California, but really the whole country in the, in the space shuttle program. Well, thank you. Yeah. And that was it. I knew this was like a once in a lifetime, you know, amazing thing that, you know, I have a five year old daughter. I hope I hope that, you know, she gets taught this in school about this historic event, you know, and so it's it just any part of it that I could be. It was such an honor. Now, it was you and a team of photographers that did this. Uh, at what point during the shooting, for you personally, uh, did you feel like, that's a money shot right there like that? I am so happy that I got that, and I hope it comes out when I get, you know, when I get back to the studio or to wherever. You know, that better be, you know, I better yeah, be saved. Absolutely, and I got to give credit to one of my guys, uh, 
you know, we're all, this was all a team effort and his name is, is Joe Capra. And uh, the money shot was when um, the, the, he had his camera set up and was getting ready to move it and just had made eye contact with the people steering the shuttle and said, do you mind if I leave the camera here? And they said, yeah, it's fine. And it's the shot with my, where, where, where the shuttle comes literally over, literally drives over the camera. That's an awesome um, shot. It, it, the, the credit goes to Joe for that. But as a photographer, I would know that at that moment, there's the shot. That's yeah. that's it. <laughs> that's the one. And I was I was actually commenting before we had you on the line. I was commenting that wow, you have to have some level of security clearance to get that done. But apparently, you didn't. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was one of those moments where it's just like, do you mind if we leave it here? It's like, sure. So it, your credit to Joe for that, and and all the guys too. I mean, this was one of those things that I knew when we first scouted me and me and the Inglewood Police Department that, that you know this was a 12 mile trek that was going to be very difficult and there was no way that one person can do it yeah so, well matt thank you for letting us let it letting us share it with our viewers and uh we'll let you go and enjoy new york city for now but <laughs> thank uh, you really great work thank you guys so much really appreciate it